2.45 in the morning. The PAR teams make their way to the meeting place. They're the ones who are responsible for going out to check for any casualties, damage, or contaminations from chemical attacks. They can't do that before waiting around inside. Once they're given the go-ahead, they make their way outside and begin their sweeps. Well, we just ran a scenario where the med group underwent a chemical attack and was, was hit pretty hard. And our PAR teams went out and found a heavy contamination on uh, several of the uh, stanchions. And all PAR team members and the security team members that are stationed outside the med group protecting the entrances also got uh, contaminated. The entire time the PAR teams are outside, they're being watched by the Exercise Evaluation Team, or EET. It's their job to make sure the PAR teams are doing the job correctly and finding everything they're supposed to. They're looking on M9 paper that turns color to indicate what kind of chemicals were used in the attack. That's slime, guys. This time, the PAR teams not only found contaminations, but they themselves were covered in the dangerous chemicals. For most airmen around base, that means it's time to take off the gas mask and most of the mop gear. But because this group is contaminated, they have to wait in mop gear. As the sun rises, they continue to wait. They've been in gas masks for about an hour and a half. With the permission of EET, one airman cleared the excess sweat from his mask. After a little more waiting, a bus comes to take them to the CCA, or Contamination Control Area. As soon as we stepped off the bus, we uh, stopped at the first station, starting to remove our top of our gear, and then so on. We went through the later stages, removing every other part of our gear. After going through all the steps and taking every precaution, the airmen are allowed to remove their gas mask, having been in them for nearly two and a half hours. Yeah, it's critical um, because I, I don't want to spend my two years here at Masao Air Base not practicing. Who knows if we get, uh, you know, projectile uh, missiles, you know, full of chemicals affecting the whole base. So it's key for us to practice, you know, and, and be aware. So that way we can, you know, be ready if it does happen in real life. I mean, the whole idea is to, uh, is to, is to practice our, our wartime mission so that we can get it right here so that uh, if needed, we, we definitely get it right downrange. Airman First Class Scott Taylor, Misawa Air Base, Japan.